Am I gonna get sales today? Are people gonna forget about me? Sometimes people just want to take advantage of me. That is the toxic part. Today, we're gonna be talking about why social media is bad for business. And I'm going to be opening up about my own experiences, really just sharing with you guys what someone who runs her business on, God, Damn it, Kaylee. You look dressed up. Where are you going? I'm filming a video. I have to film like four videos. Oh, yeah. I was like, where is she going? I'm in the middle of Will recording. You have fun filming your videos? Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. What I feel like business owners go through when they run their business on social media and why it could be potentially harmful to your mental health and make you go absolutely insane. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. I do want to say that there are a ton, and I mean a ton of advantages of having your business on Instagram, TikTok. I am going to be talking about primarily Instagram throughout this video, so when I mention social media, I'm really talking about Instagram. But there is just a ton of advantages to having your business on social media. I feel like it is such a great stepping stone to get your business in front of a different type of audience. So no hate on social media, absolutely love Instagram, but there is a dark side to that that I want to share with you guys today. So basically a little bit about myself is that I'm the owner of Carache Cosmetics. It is a cosmetic wholesale and private label company. I started out strictly with doing just lip gloss and now I ventured into matte lipstick and, and private label products such as like lip liners and eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, things like that. I really was able to grow my business because a lot of my videos went viral on Instagram. I would get so many views one after another after another. It really just got my business out there and I'm just so grateful for Instagram for giving me the opportunity to do so without doing any ads. So now I want to go into the dark side and just really talk about my experiences and why I think social media can be bad for your business and I, and I really want to preach on having a balance with organic traffic and also maybe some paid traffic like ads or some type of marketing service because I don't want any Anyone to go through what I had to go through and that I'm still going through actually and kind of give you guys a different type of perspective and just be able to like learn from I wouldn't say my mistakes but maybe improve on some of that things that I lacked of so one thing that I want to say is that when you are creating organic traffic through social media there is gonna be a point that you have burnout like mentally physically, emotionally just burned out. And I have been posting two to three times a day, posting stories every single day for more than two years straight. And when I'm the only one that is not only creating the content, editing the content and posting it, upon other things such as YouTube and my blog, which you guys should definitely check out below. All my entrepreneurs and small business owners, creatives, check out the link down below for Build a Brand. That is where I give out a lot of business tips, strategies. You're able to get advice from me directly by messaging me on there, and I also do webinars, so definitely check that out. It can just become very overwhelming at times, and you're going to hit burnout. If you do not learn how to balance everything out, I remember that I put so much pressure upon myself to make sure that I posted every single day and to make sure that I did a Instagram story every single day to really continue the engagement and continue the followers, continue the growth, continue the sales to the point that I would literally freak out and kind of have like a panic attack internally because I like was like oh my gosh I wasn't able to post today oh my gosh that is so bad I would be really really hard on myself I remember one day my boyfriend turned to me and he was like 
you know that no one else cares if you didn't post today other than you and ever since he told me that i was like you're right to me it's very important i'm like oh my gosh I, am i gonna get sales today are people gonna forget about me if i don't post today in reality it was like it wasn't that big of a deal and i'm sure that no one noticed that if i didn't post that day or whatever the case may be and so i was creating this unnecessary stress for myself upon other things that i was stressed about. Hey guys, so it's me from the future. I wanted to quickly share my thoughts on a affordable printer. So this one actually is pretty affordable. It's $139.99. Since it is a thermal printer, you don't have to worry about running out of ink. It's also super, super fast. So if you have a ton of shipping labels that you have to print out, this one is going to be really quick. The one I got has a USB and it comes with the installation package, but you don't need any like type of Wi-Fi to install it, which is one of the key things. So if you're working out and you don't actually have like a Wi-Fi box, but maybe you're like hot spotting off your phone, you don't need Wi-Fi for this. Also, they do have a Bluetooth version and with these type of printers, you can do more than just shipping labels. You can actually do like thank you stickers, create an infograph and then stick it onto a piece of cardstock. There's lots of endless possibilities with these printers. I'll share that with you guys. If you guys are interested in purchasing it, then I'll have the link down below within social media in order to have success we need to be consistent we need to be posting we need to be active and sometimes flat out it is just so hard to keep up it is so hard and i feel every single person that says it is so hard to post every day it is so hard to post multiple times a day it is so hard to manage different social media platforms and do it every single day i feel you on that it's like we're living in this fear mode that we won't be able to be successful or we won't be able to gain the followers that or recognition that we want for our page if we do not stick to this posting schedule and i've preached it before i'm like hey if you really want to grow on social media post two to three times a day be very active on your on your instagram stories and i still abide from that rule because i've seen it work but i think going into it and just being like hey i would like to do this every day and if i get to do this then that's great but i'm not going to be hard on myself if i miss a day or two that is the toxic part of that rule so we have these rules in place to help us grow, but sometimes we get so invested in it that we're really hurting ourselves unknowingly and we don't need to do that. And it just created a lot of anxiety within myself because I started coming up with these scenarios in my head about my page and about sales, being like, okay, if I don't do this, I'm a failure. When that's not the case. Right now, I have stepped back from social media because the anxiety of logging into Instagram, I just cannot do it. For the first time I opened up to my friend about it at dinner the other night, it was very eye-opening because I've had this talk with myself mentally in my head for so long but i never heard myself say it and when i said it everything was just clicking i was like wow this is this is real this is how i feel and i i kept telling her i was like i don't know how to explain it like i'm so sorry i feel weird saying this because it's such a it's such a small thing and i felt really uneasy even talking about it what like you go on to going on to instagram gives you anxiety and i'm like mm, yeah and i think it's because right now i'm learning a lot about mindset and how our mind work and how we are programming our bodies and minds right now in order for me to be okay with going on to instagram again without feeling the way that i currently feel i'm going to have to make a certain adjustment and change in my mindset because right now how i feel about instagram is dependent on past events and with that memory i connect it to an emotion of anxiety so the memory of me always having to put this pressure on myself to post or instagram is not even fun anymore because that's basically me working and you know like when you want to escape from work so when you come home you feel at peace 
or you go sh to the mall and you feel at peace because you're like, oh, I love going to the mall or I love going out to eat. Everyone has an escape for something. And a for a lot of us, it's social media. But social media cannot be my escape anymore because that is basically where I work and that is how I run my business. And so every time that I log into it, it gives me that anxiety because I'm like almost going back into work to escape and like mentally you're like no I don't want to go to work I want to escape I think I just need that break and I have stepped away from really being social on Instagram really posting Instagram stories and really honestly posting on my business page as well because it's just a lot and um and I don't find it Joy enjoyable anymore to be completely honest because I have a lot of business content to post on my business page but the idea of having to edit it having to post on it having to be on it it like even right now it just creates like stress so that is just one of the factors that you have to consider when you do become like a business owner and you want to have social media as a source of traffic or even becoming a social media manager or even a creator on Instagram, you have to make sure that you have other things that can be your outlet outside of social media, especially if your outlet is social media because you can totally love what you do and love the platform, but if you have nothing else to rely on as a hobby or something where you can just do for fun outside of it, it's going to destroy you because that place that was once your piece is no longer your piece anymore. And, and once it becomes part of your business, a part of your way of living, how can it be your piece in the way of living? So I know that a lot of you guys are probably wondering all of these questions and I'm about to answer them right now. I know for one, people are going to be like, well, why don't you just hire out? I definitely could and I totally agree. I should hire someone out, but let me give you the reasons why. First of all, I would still have to create content and edit the content. And if I'm going to hire someone, I would want them to do that for me. I understand that there's just ways you could send them the product and everything, but for what I need, and to have content every day and to be posting every time, like it, it's a lot. It would have to be a lot of content and that's going to be very expensive to have someone create that content and edit that content for me. Having a social media manager is really expensive. And also I've tried to hire people for it and everyone that I try to hire, just it just doesn't work out. It, we just don't meet eye to eye and sometimes people just, want to take advantage of me and not really be there for the right intentions of hey i need you to do this job i'm not here to mentor you i'm not here to teach you anything this is the job i need this done so far i haven't been able to find the right person for that those are the reasons why i have not hired out so i hope that answers that question that is all for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'll have the printer down below for you guys check out build a brand my entrepreneur entrepreneur platform. Also send me a letter. I'll have my PO box down below. I do reply to every single letter. Subscribe, comment down below about how you feel or if you resonate or if it didn't resonate. All right guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.